we're gonna go to the scrap yard today. I'm gonna dump off a load of shred. Here's what we got so far. We got two water heaters. Look how gross that one is. Like it threw up all over itself. All right, so we got the two water heaters and then on this side, we got some drain pipe, fence pole, cast iron sewer drain. Yeah, cast iron is paying the same as shred right now. So it's just going, we're not gonna separate it, but we do have some heavy cast iron stuff here. We're just gonna hold on to that in case. So I'm gonna throw another water heater up on top and I got a all steel dishwasher here. We'll throw that in. Probably not this oven, that's kind of heavy to get up on top of all that. Microwave, we got some flat stuff and some other stuff. Some remnants over here. You notice the steel pile is gone. I'll show you that in a, another video. It's been relocated back here. I don't think you guys have ever been back here before. But uh, we'll bring some of this too. Not these chairs, those are ours. And I gotta break down that lawnmower, it's aluminum. So I'm gonna load the rest of this up and I'll get back to you. So the truck's all loaded now. Here's what we got. There's a part of electric uh, wheelchair in here. Yeah, I left the motors on and the wheels, they're aluminum, but whatever about that. Got an old school blower for a furnace. Look at that, 1967. I was keeping it to replace mine in case mine broke, but I just took the motor off because it's, it's too long and too wide. Mine's a little thinner. There's a third water heater. We got an exercise ski machine thing, some chairs, a rack thing. There's the steel dishwasher. So nothing major in here. Just, you know, shred. So we'll go run this in and I'll see you at the scrapyard. Out of here let's go back on the scale i think we weighed in at 49.40 or 49.20 so that should be a good load considering i got half half a tank of gas so let's see
four grand even nice all right see you in a bit well we did real good because the price is up i had way more weight than i thought i did so that helps a lot and i'll see you when i get back i might hit some dumpsters on the way home see what kind of trouble we can get into all right watch out mr flatbed we're back from the scrapyard all we found was a squeegee on the way home but uh i didn't grab this for scrap i'm gonna use it because when we get that snow that's like heart attack snow who wants to shovel that you just squeegee it out of the way so here's how we did at the scrapyard we had a total 940 pounds they're running out of ink there as you can see 210 a ton nice 99 dollars. so that was definitely worth it all right everybody we'll see you all later